Hi guys, it's April and this is my October wrap up. So this is everything I read this month except for the graphic novels and the mangas that I read for Get Graphic With It. And if you want to know my thoughts on those books, I will link up above and down below. I had a great time with that readathon and I now have more comics and graphic novels that I have added to my I need to read list. This is about my October wrap up and let's just get into it. The first book I want to talk about is The Heart Forger by Rin Chepeko. This is book two in the Bone Witch series. It is centered around T, who has necromantic powers, but all of this is set in a very Asian culture-centered world I find fascinating. I really enjoy seeing a lot of what goes on in this world and the way the story is told through storytellings of flashbacks and then there's a current storyline that's going on at the same time and it just keeps flipping back and forth. There's so many things that I want to know. Ugh! So many things. I also read A Sense of Urgency by John Cotter. This is part of my work book club thing that I am now doing with my department. It's about finding a sense of urgency in everything that you do to keep you pushing forward and not necessarily creating a lot of busy work for yourself. What I found myself thinking a lot when I read this book was, yes, I see all of these things. This isn't new to me. Yes, I get it. These are the problems we have, but I would really like it if you told me how to fix it. I'm a doer. I need to do things. I wanted more doing, if that makes any sense. I also picked up City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This story was absolutely adorable and right up my alley and if middle school April had found this book she would have been in heaven because it is about a young girl named Cass who can see ghosts and it just so happens that her parents deal with writing about the paranormal and they're starting their own TV show and while they can't see them she can. And just to see the dynamic between her and her parents and how she's dealing with these ghosts and the concept that Schwab has added into the ghost realm, I find fascinating. And I'm looking forward to more in this series because I really like how the world is setting up right now. I also picked up Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is the start of a whole new series by the two of them, and I'm really liking this one a lot more than I like the Starbound series. This one deals with Maya and Jules, who are on this planet, to discover some things that were left by the Undying. While they're there for different reasons, they end up teaming up and trying to survive this planet. It has a very Indiana Jones type quality, which may be why I enjoyed this story a lot more than I like their survival aspect of Starbound. This story, to me, is just all about the science and all about the coolness, and so I just connected a lot more with this book than I did with Starbound. I saw some things coming, and I figured there would be these connections that are panning out to be true, but I, I need more in the series to find out if some of my thoughts are actually valid or not. I also did another buddy read with Shay. No one's really surprised there. You need to check her out. If you haven't already, I'll leave the information down below and up above. We decided to finish out the Anti Darken series with Bright We Burn. This whole journey into the Vlad the Imperiler as a woman storyline arc thing, what she did with it, oh my gosh, there was so much here. And it grew so much from the first book into this book. This book is probably the most well developed of the whole series. But seeing how all of this storyline came together and all the people. I hated all of these characters for the most part, but somehow I felt myself pulled into the drama of everything that was going on. It was ridiculous. I didn't see a happy ending in sight, but I do like how everything was wrapped up and how it was all pulled together. I think it was done in a way that made sense, even though the whole time I'm like, this, this is not cool. This is not cool at all. I had to do a reread of East by Edith Padu. I'll link my review up above and down below because I ended up doing a review over this book because I randomly found out that there is a sequel to this book out. On the day I found out about that sequel, I found out that that sequel had just been released. So of course I purchased it, but I had to do a reread of this book because this is by far one of my favorite East of the Sun, West of the Moon retellings, mainly because of the way she pulls the story together and what she does with some of the traditional storyline of this story. The characters she creates and how she flops the storyline back and forth. The mythologies she adds into this story and some of the different concepts of birth direction and the wind rose that she pulls in as well I found really really fascinating. While there are some parts of this book where I think it needs fleshed out, things still feel a little underdeveloped, I do really really like the story and I am picking up 
west at this point and it's going to be red and it's going to be amazing hopefully it's amazing uh, if it's not I'm going to cry because it's been 13 years since I first picked up this book and now there's a sequel what is my life there will probably be a review and last but not least, for my read tour tall read along, I picked up Bloodhound by Tamir Pierce. This is the second book in the Becker Cooper series. I am so enjoying going back and reading this series. Something about Becca Cooper, I just like her character. She is no nonsense. She gets the job done, but at the same time, she's this very introverted and I don't know how to talk to people if I am not in work mode. And I think it's just because I relate to that so well. But then she has this connection with animals, the whole pigeon thing that goes on. And then you finally get to see Achoo. I love Achoo. He is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent hound. Just seeing the woman that is later going to create the bloodline that then creates George Cooper, I think is beautifully, beautifully done. And I can't wait to get into Mastiff because things, things are going to happen. So those are the books that I read for October. Sadly that means all these beautiful creatures behind me are going to have to come down off my bookshelf. I have Christmas trees to set up because I've got some photo shoots that are about to happen. Christmas is coming. Tell me down below what books that you have read this month, what books you think I should read, anything about books, tell me down below. I heart you beautiful faces. Bye.